Welcome to the upgrade and upgrade for July 20th until 26th. And it is indeed again an interesting time this whole year and in general we're living in interesting times. What seems to be most interesting is the different conjunctions and the different degrees of what the planets are in at the moment. Without having to be a astrologer, we can see how that manifests in the external world, in turmoil and unrest and all of that. And it is interesting that Uranus and Mars are at play. And when we look at the planets, the counterbelt objects, and whatever they call all the stars in the cosmos, it's very interesting to see. It's not just a moment in time. It is not just what's happening on a particular date. This lasts for a while. And of course, we're having the upcoming full moon with the sun in Cancer and the moon in Capricorn. And also this, of course, creates quite a lot of interest between the heart and the structure. And what we're seeing in the outside world is, in a way, what's happening inside. But of course, we can look at it from a different perspective. And of course, it's not only the astrology as we know it, the, the topical astrology. It is also what we can see in the sky and it's all the different kind of astrologies and it astronomy as well. So don't get caught up on that. We don't need to be all astrologers. What is important for us is that we understand those rhythms, the songs and music of the spheres. So we become co-creators. It's not about this is all predicted. It's not about we don't have a choice. It's the opposite. And of course, coming here to planet Earth, it has been a challenge for us one way or another. And especially coming, of course, at a time when one cycle is ending and another one begins. So Capricorn and Aquarius, they come in and out each other because, of course, Aquarius is the one who is taking over by the end of the year. And so this week, I'm inviting you still to go within. It is important to make that connection. One of the biggest things that changed everything on the planet, or what also crashed, I want to say, Atlantis or Lemuria, was the disconnection from the heart. And we see that in the Egyptian mythology, we see that in the Greek mythology, this is what always took us out of the consciousness, took us out of the evolutionary process. But of course, if we are looking at the stars, we understand it was not about that. We had to learn all these things. So we come here on a school. So this week, I really would like you to focus on something very interesting. On death. Death and rebirth. From within. I'm not inviting you to die physically, nothing to do with that. Traditionally, one of the biggest fears that we feel as Homo sapiens for more than 4,000 years, before that, it wasn't like that. When we were in harmony with nature, we knew there's always a rebirth. So death has been one of our biggest fears. When I did my shamanic training, one of the biggest things was to let that fear of death go, doing death rites where you truly surrender while honoring and, and taking care of this physical body and this human experience, the death of this human is not what it is. However, I'm not talking about this death. You and I, if you had a near life, near death experience or not, we all have gone through death. Death simply means the end. And what happens when something is at the end? It tends to be turmoil. It tends to be crazy. It tends to be painful. But what is happening when you truly die to something, you actually heal. And this is what I'm inviting you in for this week with this energy that is supporting us with that. So the thing is, when we connect to the heart and the cosmic heart and the stars and all of us, we are never alone. And in that knowing, we can truly heal. So healing is not when somebody comes with a magic wand and does something to you or gives you some pills. This is not healing. 
Healing is actually when we are able to let go and die to an old self that no longer serves. So in a time of evolution and ascension, which we are right in, you can imagine it's even more profound. So regardless of the turmoil that's going out outside, please do not feed that. It's very, very important. It's not only being here in the hammock and saying, I don't care about the world, I do. But it is very consciously knowing that whatever we do has an influence and an impact on the world outside. So if we are supporting the turmoil and the unrest and the violence or whatever is happening, we are feeding it. And so when we come now within, inviting the guides and the stars, Uranus and Neptune is also playing somewhere and Cancer and Capricorn and, and of course Aquarius is, is playing as well. When we do that, we can die to what is our old self and we can rebirth into that new species of Homo luminous. It's still a process, so don't expect that happens in the next week, but it does happen. And we can feed the world with an energy that comes from the heart. And it's interesting, no matter where you're looking, no matter what tradition we're talking, even Lemuria, Lemuria actually is the heart. I've just listened to a beautiful conversation with Heather Enthworth and can I say his name properly? Beautiful Hawaiian guy who has a lot of Lemurian connection. Yeah, you, I put a link in the in the comments. I can't pronounce his name, I'm very sure. But anyway, so he is also talking about all his memory that it is in spinal cord is about Mu. But that is the memory. In a way, that's the intelligence. That's part of the wisdom. But what is missing and what took Lemuria down was they weren't really in the heart. They couldn't sustain the wisdom without the love. And there is then Tim Wilde who talks about the flame of adoration with Archangel Jamuel, which is a part of that love and that gratitude that is part of that love. So this is what we're here to plant and to share at this time. Now, before I give you a little bridge, I feel I have mentioned almost everything. Please remember, I'm very happy to get your comments. I answer everything. And if this is not enough, I'm happy to jump on a call with you and take this further. What is also important in general, but this year in particular again, is crystals. And I'm not the only one who's saying that. I've been seriously and consciously in crystals for about 25 years now. And I've been unconsciously into crystals and stones, of course, all my life. My pockets were always filled with crystals. And this year, supposedly, and I, I resonate with that, is the year of the um, watermelon tourmalin. And this is a quite unique piece, but in general, the watermelon tourmalin has three colors. It has the pink, it has the green, and it has the black. And for me, it has to do with that death and rebirth. And it needs to come from you within. If we can do that uniquely, then it has that impact on the consciousness, the collective consciousness that we are all looking for. So the turmoil and the unrest is part of the old breaking and dying. It's like that. If something old goes, it goes. The other one that Crystal that I feel is very important in this year, and I am very blessed to have a mix. It is the aquamarine, which is also related to the higher heart chakra. And it has a morganite. And I love morganite, I even wear it. I don't take this off. Morganite is, is said to be the, the pure love, the new love. So it's kind of a ascended version of the rose quartz doesn't mean that the rose quartz is not a great crystal doesn't mean that but even if you don't have it together if you can get hold if you like crystals of and of course i'm wearing 
the aquamarine here separately because they don't come usually together. Aquamarine and morganite is also very important. It supports that vibration of love, adoration and gratitude. And when we keep on emanating that out, then we're making the difference that we're here to make. So let me give you a little sound bridge today that allows you to embrace that death, that letting go, that healing, so you can rebirth. Because if you can rebirth, then that ripples out into the collective. And you can do it again and again and again, because sometimes there's more than one thing that we can let go. This is the time. So, of course, I'm calling in today for this sound bridge. Of letting go. And dying to rebirth. I'm calling in Archangel Jamuel with his legion of angels of love. I'm also calling in Saint Germain who wants to have a word in this. Mother Mary comes through and the cosmic heart, the light of the cosmic heart. So just focus on your breath for a moment. If you wish, close your eyes and put both of your hands on your heart in the middle of your chest. This is not just the heart chakra. But this is your soul self, your source self. Just breathing in together with your heart chakra. You might want to connect to the colors. The pink, the green, the gold, the white. And maybe the turquoise and aquamarine from the higher heart. You just breathe into that. Make that connection, make that sacred bond, and exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale, make that sacred bond, connect, and exhale. Then one more time. Inhale, and exhale. And now I'm bringing through that bridge for you to have the courage, the truth, to die to the old you, to truly embrace your rebirth into Homo Luminous and that free and new you in the vibration of Aquarius and all the others. With Archangel Chamuel and everybody else here now. Aturu karmana andari shidara mayu Andari hindara hundara hinada kalare maya mayu mahu Chandare 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 kondara barari hundara hei Konaye konaye naru Kanara re maturiya maya ho Anara re ma kona ya ma ya hu hu hu. Just allow that, the highest form of healing, fully connecting to the heart, and letting go, dying to, so you can rebirth and heal. Just enjoy that. The other updates, of course, are for us here by the song course. We have changed a few things all around. So if you go on the website that I will put, of course, a link, then you can see it. We will be in Lima, Peru, just an hour away from us by plane. And we will be doing sessions. And I put it also in the community so you can see and book yours in some places already booked. We're going to be available from the 24th of July until the 8th of August. So right through the Lion's Gate. And who knows, 
depending on who is responding, there might be a little celebration for the lion's gate. It's still very possible that I will be inspired to do something for the lion's gate in particular online with everybody. So having, having attuned the sessions that we are doing in general, we are offering, of course, these sessions, not only face to face in Lima, but we also offering these sessions to you online. And it is very exciting. It is about visualizing and manifesting from the heart. So it's an experience, not just the visualization. Of course, there's a little tuning in coming to your Senate state doing a visualization. There is seven different domains that you can enter in different sessions, of course, not all together, but there's also a beautiful debrief where you can actually figure out what does it mean? How can we translate it? How can you manifest it? What does it mean to visualize and manifest from the heart that I call also imagineering? So there's a lot of new things coming through. So this is maybe one of them. And the other one is really connecting to the inner peace, to your inner power, to your inner magic. You can see it is all related to the energies. It's all related to what is happening with the death and the rebirth, but in general, the energy of this time. Yes, because this is what happens when you offer yourself and when you have promised the cosmos and the cosmic heart and source that you are here at this time to weave new earth together with you. Um, I bring just what I've got together with Ceci most of the time. And of course, don't forget our Heart Fire Retreat in Sicily is definitely on. In fact, it's three retreats, six people each time, slow paced, total magic as you can imagine. We are still able to take people in. Again, I put the link in the comments, no, not in the comments, in the description. Now, the way we roll in general, send us a, send us a message on the website, register with your name and everything. We contact you and we talk to you. For us, it's very important to have that connection, whether it's for a retreat, our heart fire in Sicily or retreats here or whatever. For us, it's very important to have a first connection and have a conversation we call a synergy call. So very excited to have you there. For Lionsgate, they're pushing me to put out the programs, the short courses from the school. So this is very exciting and they will start in November when we are back here in the jungle from Sicily. So it is all very, very exciting to be here in this time. And I'm very happy to see you and thank you for being here today. Take good care. Many blessings.